Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got some of the Salon Perfect Halloween polishes. I wasn't able. There was. I know for sure one that I couldn't get. I don't. I don't really know. I have four that are labeled limited edition, and they're Halloween named. And then I have two that are holographic finishes. And um, so I'm going to swatch those out for you today. And I've got a couple of bonus polishes I'm going to swatch also. Um, there was one of the limited editions. No, it wasn't a limited edition. It was one of the holographics, and it's an orange one. I hadn't found that one yet. But I've seen it on other people's channels, so I'm on the hunt. I will track it down. And the two bonus polishes I have are I finally picked up China Glaze. Mustard the Courage. Had to have it. Um, I actually was going to buy it online and some idiot was out there trying to get $18 for it. I was like, are you stupid? So I took myself to Sally's and walked in and bought just that one. I was so proud of myself. And then I ordered one from um, Painted Phalanges and this one is called Mooney. I wanted all of them, but um, made myself just get one. So I'm going to swatch all of these for you today. I've got a little nail wheel out. I've got just enough empty spaces to fill and uh, we're going to get to it. Um, Alrighty, so into the swatching we will get. <laughs> I love this black gold just shininess. Loving, loving, loving it. I am, I don't know if it's just the time of year, but I'm feeling polishes like this. I guess I could be telling y'all the names of these, but we, we'll just have to insert them. Now, this gold one, at first I thought, oh, it'll just be a topper, but I really do believe you can totally, I mean, that's a pretty good first coat there. I think you can get this one built up nicely on two coats without it being just too crazy. Now, this one for sure is a topper, unless you really like that sheer look. I loved how pretty this one was, and I will show you, I believe, yes, I show you this one over black at the end of the video. And this orange glitter bomb that's in this black jelly is just too cool, too, too cool. It just got so much glitter going on, I can't stand it. And then we're going to head on into the holographic one. Now, this black holographic polish is mind-blowing that it's you know a polish you can pick up at Walmart it's really got the earmarks of an indie hollow it's really really good I'm so excited because you got that linear hollow and then now this one I'm doing is of course scattered hollow and look at all that it's, it's like crazy good you, <sighs> have to get over it. Okay, moving on. Mustard the Courage. This could have totally been a one-coater, but you know me. I'm going to do two. Love, love the new brush. Look at that. Love it. Hope they keep that up. And then for our painted phalanges, such a special polish. It's just gorgeous. Loving it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say gorgeous or whatever. So we're going to go in with our second coach real quick, and I am bebopping on through these. I did speed this up. I mean, swatching to me is not the most entertaining thing in the world to watch, but I wanted you to see the formula on them and not just take my word that, oh, this is two coats or three coats. you actually seeing that I'm doing it, and look at that. Full coverage, two coats, and it's not thick on the nail. I love it. Crazy good stuff. And now for the topper, uh, you know, this, this one's so gorgeous in the bottle, and I can't wait for you to see it over black. It's going to knock your socks off. It's just so, so nice. And then this orange one. Look at that. Building up. Full opacity. Two coats. Yes. How awesome. Or you could do one coat of black and then put this orange over it. Oh, my stars. It'd probably be just insane cool you can see that linear hollow did you see it on this black one it is really there with linear hollows you're going to want to wait for them to dry down before you really can see it but i'm telling you that black one i've worn it it's 
all up in some linear hollow. It's just insane that it's a Walmart. I can't believe it's a Walmart polish. And this one too. I mean, wow. So I gotta say something about this China Glaze brush being fatter. You know, all those years we thought that China Glaze had fussy formulas. I wonder if it was really fussy formulas or if the brush made that much of a difference. I would love to have this brush in all of my China Glaze. Because some of those that I thought were such a pain <laughs> might be a dream now. So here we go with our second coat of Painted Phalanges Mooney. Loving this one. I can't wait to wear it. I think it's going to be great for winter. It's just got that frosty, wintry look to it. Look, I was playing with my nail wheel for once. <laughs> some black nails that we can do under her spell over. Oh, heavens, the Mercatoids. Okay, it's been a hot minute since I said that, but that is so pretty. Oh, it's got purple and blue and like copper or bronze or something in it. That is just crazy pretty. It's that one right here. Now, it looks really similar to this, but these are bigger chunks, and I don't even know what this is. This is from something else I did. It's like maybe a gel polish thing, but look how pretty. That is gorgeous. So under her spell, like it, like it. Alrighty, well that is my little haul. Oh, and okay, I just spotted something. This is an update. When I did my red stamping test, um, a lot of my friends mentioned down in the comments that reddish by MDU worked really good over black. Now I didn't pull this one out originally because it looked more orange to me, um, but on the on the nail it does look pretty pretty red. So MDU red stamps really well. That's really good. So there's a little bonus there for you <laughs> just because I stumbled across it. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little swatch fest. I thank you for watching and until next time be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.